Hi, welcome to Chima class. Today's lesson will be looking at angles in a semicircle on that circle geometry. Okay, we are going to show or prove that angles in a semicircle is 90 degrees. Semicircle. All right. Okay. Let's say we have something like this. This is a semicircle. Okay, we have something in this way, and we have another semicircle like this. Okay. Let's say something in this way. Good. So if here is the center and here is also the center, let's say we have A, B, and this is C. Okay, we have here also A, B, and this is C. Okay? Okay? Let's say here now, let's use this is A, B, C. Let's use here X. Y and the Z. Okay? Z. Here is Z. Okay, this is the center of this circle. And this is also the center of this circle. In semicircle, in semicircle, A, B, C, A, B, C, or X, Y, Z. Okay? To show that, we have to show that, to prove to prove that angle angle B A C is equal to what 90 degrees with reference to this okay we want to make sure that this angle B A C is equal to what 90 degrees since B B A C since this is the semi circle we want to show that to prove that angle B A C is equal to what 90 degrees recall recall that B C B C on this one now in diameter. B C is a diameter, okay? And the and the O is the center. O is the center. If you observe, there is an angle formed here. An angle formed here, okay? Therefore, angle angle B O C is equal to what? 180 degrees angles on the straight line. Okay, BOC, this angle BOC is equal to 180 degrees angles in a straight line. Are you getting it? BOC is 180 angles in a straight line. Also, remember in the first theorem of second geometry, it says that angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. And the BAC is the angle at this circumference. Therefore, we now say that angle BOC is equal to 2 of angle BAC. Angle what? BAC. Then the reason, our reason is what? Angle at the center. Angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference. So we have angle at the center is twice angle at the circumference okay it's twice angle at the circumference are you getting it therefore we have it at angle boc but angle boc is equal to 180 degree angle on the straight line so we have it at 180 degrees is equal to two of angle two of please this is angle is equal to two of and B A C, okay? So it was to two of angle B A C. I see it now. But we want to make B A C the subject of the formula. So we are going to divide both sides by what? Two. I see it. So we have 180 degrees divided by two. Is equal to two and B A C divided by two. So that these two can cancel. And 180 divided by two. You have 90 degrees is equal to angle B A C. So we are now proving that therefore the angle subtended on the semicircle because this is a semicircle, the angle subtended here, okay, this angle here and this angle there. Therefore, angle B A C is equal to 90 degrees Q E D as required. Are you getting it? Therefore, the angle subtended by a semi in a semicircle, angle subtended in a semicircle is equal to what? 90 degrees. It can be in this form, 
it can be in this one. So this angle is 90 degrees, this angle is 90 degrees, which is, which is to tell us does. We can now say that does triangle ABC or XYZ is a right angle triangle. Good. So from this theorem now, since this angle suspended at the, at the circumference is 90 degrees, therefore this triangle automatically becomes what? A right angle triangle. This also is what? A right angle triangle. So we have proven this angle, so the semicircle angle is 90 degrees. Let's use it to solve some problems in circle geometry. Okay? Alright.